I'm Margaret Lyons. I'm an electrical engineer in wireless communications. I am retired but work part-time with Jacobs. My title there is Senior RF Communications Engineer. I uh, went to school at Purdue University, have a degree in computer and electrical engineering, and I am a licensed professional engineer in seven U.S. states. I am originally from New Jersey. After college, moved back to New Jersey, and that's where I am now. I've spent more than 30 years as a consultant in design and implementation of wireless communication systems in the U.S. These have included commercial systems like paging, mobile data, IMTS, that was the precursor to cellular, and of course cellular systems, as well as private two-way voice and data systems for transportation, utilities, and first responders. Wireless communications is everywhere now. In your house, you probably have a, whatever your internet service provider, but then you have Wi-Fi delivering wirelessly to your TV for streaming, to your computer for, some people might do a conversation over Zoom, a lot of it wirelessly, first responders. Um, I think there's integration coming with um, VR technologies and not just for gaming, but if you're out, say, in a Grand Coulee Dam and you need to maintain some big piece of equipment rather than needing to lug a manual with VR, the insides of that piece of equipment can be relevant to you and, and it would light up, put your hand here, turn there, this should look like this and really bring all that right out to whether it's utility or a factory floor and that's gonna be wireless, maybe private, 5G, 6G, however, the backbone's gonna be, so much of everything is gonna become just wireless. When I think about what I've liked about my career, I'd say two things come to mind. One, working for consultant firms has given me the stability of being a longtime employee while enjoying a variety of completely new people and work environments with each client engagement. Some projects were as short as six months, and others lasted more than 10 years. And number two was the variety of day-to-day -day work. Truly, I was never alone in a corner with a computer until 2020. My work life was a daily mix of in the office, in the field, on-site meetings with clients, and I always had the flexibility to work from home. The field work took me all over the US when part of a nationwide mobile data system build out, and I've worked in subway tunnels and inside the Grand Coulee Dam. What an adventure. IEEE and CONSOC uh, contribute on the very technical information. Other professional organizations I belong to are very broad, be it the Society of Women Engineers or National Society of Professional Engineers. But with IEEE and CONSOC, that's where I get my wireless electrical engineering content. Um, not to mention the networking in our local um, chapters, sections, I am involved with people who then become clients and then they know me and they're secure in, oh, I know Margaret and I know she knows what she's talking about. There are so many different avenues you can go to in electrical engineering, in communications, satellites, radar, so many different avenues. That's the great part of maybe getting some internships and you get a feel for what thing excites me when I get out there in the real world. Comsoc is where I connect because as a wireless practitioner, there is nowhere better than IEEE Comsoc that I found for keeping up to date with technology developments relevant to my career.